Welcome, my name is Minister Tora Adir. We're back uh, this week to go deeper into the Word of God, uh, holding somebody's hands. In fact, I feel like we are going into the Scriptures together. We're studying the Word of God together, and we're encouraging each other in the Word of God. So today, uh, I have I have an amazing Scripture that we're going to read, Zechariah 2, verse 5, all right? My teaching today is titled, God the Fire round about you. God, the fire round about you. I'm here to encourage somebody. Uh, maybe you're going through a, a, a very difficult situation right now. And in fact, you know, the whole pandemic that's gone on in the world, financially, people are, are, are really in constraints. Health-wise, people are in constraints. People have lost loved ones. And, uh, or maybe at work, you, you, you're finding yourself that you, you're about to be retrenched. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know what the prayer point is. But what I want you to know and what I'm here to tell you is that God has said He is going to manifest as a fire round about you. Okay? God, the fire round about you. Uh, we're taking our text from Zechariah 2 verse 5, which says, The Lord is the fire round about me and the glory within my midst. Hmm. The Lord is the fire round about me, round about me, around me, and the glory within my midst. Just listen to that word of God. Just listen to what God is saying. God is not saying, uh, he's going to send an angel to manifest as fire. God is not saying uh, he's going to send somebody. No, he's saying he himself is the fire round about you. The Lord is. God himself came and became a fire round about you. And he doesn't just stop there. He says, I'm going to be the glory within your midst. What I know about fire is if you make a fire, maybe it's cold out and you have a fireplace or you make a fire. There's a certain there's a certain point where you can't get too close to that fire. Right. It's cold. You at the fire. You come a bit closer. But if you keep going closer, you start to do what you start to burn. So you move away. And that moving away is why? Because the fire is hot any closer and you will burn. So this current situation you're going through right now, I want you to, when you pray tonight or when you fast, going into fasting, whatever it is, I want you to base your prayer and I want you to base your fasting on this word. Father, manifest as the fire round about me and be the glory within my midst. Because fire, it burns. There's no arrow of the enemy that's coming to touch you. There is no weapon of the enemy that's coming to bomb in any area of your life. There is no satanic attack. There is no demonic attack. There's none of that. Why? Because God himself is fire around you. And if this weapon wants to come, remember we gave the, 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 remember we gave the example. The closer you get to the fire, it starts to burn. So you pull away. If an arrow is coming, if a weapon is coming, if a demon wants to come and manifest, I don't know in what way, before it touches you, it's going to burn because fire burns. Or if it doesn't burn, he's going to back away because now God himself has manifested as a fire round about you, around you. All right. And in fact, it takes me to what we know about Job. The word of the Lord says that the devil said to God, there's a hedge around him and I can't touch him. And the Bible tells us that Job was experiencing a life of prosperity. Every area of his life was manifesting prosperity. The word of the Lord says he's the richest man. There's never been a man richer than Job in the Middle East to this day. The devil says to God, it's because of this hedge. I can't touch him. I can't even go near him. So that means every area of Job's life was prosperous. Why? Because God was a hedge around him. And what is this hedge? It was fire. The devil could not penetrate. There's no area where he could penetrate. Not with his children, not with his job, not with his cattle, not with his marriage, not with his ministry. Every area of Job's life was experiencing peace, prosperity, on every side because of the hedge that was around him. So God has come to say to somebody today, 
I'm going to manifest as a fire round about you. It's going to be you here and around you is fire. And he doesn't just stop there. He says, I'm going to be the glory within your midst. And glory, oh my, the glory of God, when it comes, okay, God elevates you. When it comes, God separates you. People will look from afar and say, my God. They will marvel at your life. They will marvel how your life is moving. When the glory of God comes to elevate you, favor is your name. Salvation is your name. Prosperity is your name. Delivered is your name. Every area of your life manifesting the glory of God. Life, no death. So I'm here to encourage you. If you've heard this word, I want you to know this is the word of God. This is not me. God is saying he will be a fire round about you. And he will be the glory within your midst. He's going to cause every area of your life to manifest his glory. So whatever situation you're currently going through, I want you to believe with me. I want you to believe with me that God has come to be a fire round you. Fire round you and glory within your midst. It's the time for your breakthrough. It's the time for your miracle. It's the time for your healing. And God now has manifested. All right. Take this word when you pray tonight, when you pray this afternoon, whenever tomorrow, as you pray, base your prayer on this word. As you go into fasting, those of you who want to or who are going to or who are planning to base your fasting on this word for your current situation. God manifest as fire round about me and your glory. Let me see your glory within my midst. This is the promise of God. All right. So let me pray with somebody right now. I'm going to pray with you right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for your word, my God. What a word. Father, you have said that you yourself will be fire round about us. You will be a hedge of protection around us. And you will not only just do that for us, Father, but you will be glory. You will manifest your glory within our midst, mighty God. Every area of our lives is going to experience your touch, your glory, your magnificence, your sovereignty, mighty God. We thank you for this word. We thank you that you have come to comfort us. We thank you that you have come to give us hope, mighty God. We thank you that you have come to establish a standard, mighty God. You have come to say, it's enough. No more. I am now going to be fire round about my children. And I'm now going to manifest myself and cause every area of their lives to be glorious. Thank you for your word. Thank you for touching your children in this way, mighty God. Father, I worship you. I honor you. I lift your name on high and I thank you, mighty God, for your word and for hearing the cries of your children and coming, mighty God, to speak a word to their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'm going to see you again next week. My name is Minister Tora Adair. Remember to share this video. My name is Minister Tora Adair. Join me every Monday and Fridays at 10 a.m. You and I are going to go deep into the Word of God. We're going to encourage each other on the Word of God, encourage each other on life issues. We're going to do Bible study. We're going to worship together. We're going to walk this journey together, me and you. Once again, join me Mondays and Fridays, 10 a.m. on all my social pages. That's Tora Adair on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. See you there.